the No Fate channel, checking in. And today I am going to be doing a one year review. That's right, a year ago, today, I picked up and bought this Rogue Echo Bike, also known as an Assault Bike or an Airdyne. I'm going to do a review. I'm going to talk pros and cons, what I learned, which accessories you need to get. And then I'm going to show you how to actually maximize this display to get the most out of it. And finally, I'm going to talk about my favorite, or maybe I should say least favorite exercises on this Rogue Echo Bike. If this is your first time to the channel, give the video a like and hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I just do honest reviews of the equipment that I use to help you decide what is right for your home gym, what you are going to be using a year later, if not more, after you actually buy it, and what's worth your hard-earned money. Now that I'm a year deep, I want to talk about my use case, because the real test of any piece of home gym equipment, cardio-wise or even weightlifting, is how often you use it, not the first week or the first month that you get it in. Clearly, you're going to be using it as much as you can. I'm talking a year later, are you still using it as much? Truth be told, with this Rogue Echo Bike, I use it every day. Whether I'm working out or not, minimum, I use it for four minutes. I do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds of that. Ends up being a great way for me to warm up my joints, warm up my body, get my day started. And oftentimes, I will transition from that warm up into my workout routine or even my stretching routine. I then take that a step further. Typically, three or four days of the week, I will incorporate it into my cardio session. Sometimes it's just real quick. I don't have much time. I want to just burn it out. I do a 50 calorie challenge, which means I set 50 calories. I go as hard as I can. And by the three minute mark, I'm usually done and wishing that I was dead. Also, what I will do is I will incorporate it into my circuits where I do a number of circuits over here with weights, maybe the battle rope, and then boom, I hit a minute hard on this thing and come back and rinse and repeat. Also, when I'm looking to get cardio and I am short on time, I'll do interval training. So I will typically do 20 seconds hard, 10 seconds rest, and I'll do that for eight minutes. So I'll do 16 rounds of that. I have used this thing again, way more than I ever thought I would. Now, a few things that I have learned while using this Echo Bike over the past year. Number one is that you cannot go easy on this thing. Some people have messaged me in the comments sections of my previous videos and said, hey, they're able to go for 30 minutes or even an hour on this and casually kind of go through the motions. I'm telling you right now, they are outliers. This machine is made to kill calories. It is made to boost your metabolism and is, it is made to frankly downright suck. There is really no way you can go easy on this thing. On some of the days where I'll get on here for a long period of time, which I consider long is 20 minutes, I'll put my, my phone here, I'll watch some, and I'll go through the motions. It still hurts. It's still much, much harder than if you got on an elliptical or a treadmill and just went through the motions. This thing puts you through the paces. It's not meant for long, slow distance whatsoever. Also, if you are short, I would say five, two and under, you can't use this thing. My seven-year-old son has tried to use it a number of times with the seat as low as possible, and you just can't. It's really meant for people that are 5'3 or up, and I would probably even say if you're 5'3, you're probably going to find it to be a lot more uncomfortable than anyone else that's taller. Also, it doesn't come with a lot of accessories. That's my main beef, and I'll talk about which accessories you need, and then we'll talk about price. Accessories that you need, you need to get a phone holder. Why? Listen, phones are so much a part of our lives. It's crazy whether you just, listen, you're going to want a phone holder. You're telling yourself when you first buy it that you don't need a phone holder. You're going to wish you had a phone holder. Do you need the cup holder? Hell no, you don't need the cup holder because there's really no time to take a break and get a drink. You do need the wind guard. I will tell you, even if your home gym is super hot, that wind guard is absolutely necessary. It's so annoying to get all that wind in your face. And if your home gym happens to be cold, well, you're really going to wish you had the wind guard. I do wish that Rogue sold those as part of the initial price point, but they don't. And it is definitely an add-on. The only reason I have this cup holder here is because in order to get free shipping, I was able to like save $5 overall by buying all three of these and get free shipping. So that's why I have the stupid cup holder. I will tell you what I paid for this. I'll put it up here, but I do know the price point has since gone up. They do tend to have 
discounts every once in a while. They'll, they raise the price, but they'll bring it down every once in a while. It's a tough pill to swallow. It's a tough chunk of change, but since I use it every day, I think that it's worth it. If you are looking to pick up an assault bike or an Airdyne where you're pumping your arms and cycling your feet, but you don't expect to be using it nearly as much to warrant that price point, Titan Fitness has a cheaper designed version. I will say it's not as high quality as the Echo Bike, but it does come with the accessories that I mentioned, the phone holder, the bottle holder, the fan, the fan guard, and it even comes with bigger wheels, allowing you to move it easier throughout your home gym or even across turf. Something to consider and something to look into. One of the nice things that I really like about this, as far as a piece of cardio equipment, is that you don't have to plug it in. You don't have to worry about being near a wall outlet. You're able to kind of pick it up on its front wheels, put it wherever you want, use it, put it away. My favorite exercise routine, or I should say my least favorite exercise routine, has to do with the fact that oftentimes I'm running late. I start working out, I think I got plenty of time, and the next thing I know, the extra 10 or 15 minutes of cardio I plan to do at the end of my workout, I just don't have time for that. So I need something quick, and I love to do a 50 calorie challenge. I must have done that thing like 40 times now. Every time it hits like a train wreck. It absolutely wipes you out. 50 calorie challenge is nice because it is short enough where you go 110% for the whole duration, but it's also long enough that you really kind of crush your soul, tax your system and your metabolism, your heart rate and everything else in between is through the roof for like the next hour and a half. Usually takes me about three minutes and it's super easy to program. Let me show you how to program this thing. This Rogue Echo Bike screen is super easy to use, super functional, but unfortunately, so many people don't drill down to really get the most use out of it. So I wanna go through it. First and foremost, if you just wanna get on here and ride, you just sit on, pump the arms, this thing's gonna kick on, and it's gonna look just like this. It's gonna give you your speed, the watts that you're going, your cadence, the calories that you've burned, your duration, and it's gonna give you the distance that you traveled. If you do did connect a heart rate monitor to it, it will as well give you your heart rate. Stop button does just that, it stops it. Now, let's go over this whole side screen because this is where the magic happens. Top button, my favorite button. This is 20 seconds hard, 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds giving you four minutes total. And that's my go-to when it comes to warming up and it's also my go-to when it comes to just cardio. I'll often run this twice in a row or, or I'll set the custom button, which you'll see, in order to kind of hit this for eight minutes straight. The next button down, 10 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I don't use that at all. I think it just doesn't really work for me in terms of, of, of the amount of rest is way too much for me, for my needs and my workout program, but to each their own. The other thing you can do is custom. This allows you to not only set the number of intervals, it also allows you to set the work period in case you want it to go 30 seconds hard with 10 seconds of rest. This really allows you to fine tune your programming on what you're looking for to really give you that hit training that you want. Because not all of us want to hit that 20, 10 button. Some of us want to go long with short rest or go 50, 50 with like one minute on, one minute rest, and you can set your intervals. Once you've done this, you just boom, hit the start button and it's gonna count you into the workout. The other thing you can do is targeted time. Now, most people probably wouldn't use this. You just kind of get on it and get off when you hit the time that you want. But sometimes you just wanna know how much time has gone by and you can just hit that and it'll count you down, which is nice, it's a no brainer, and it will beep when it gets to zero. You can also do targeted distance as far as the mileage that you wanna go. This isn't something that I typically do, but some people might just find it fun to see how long it takes them to get to 20 miles, 30 miles, etc. Now, the other one that I use very often is targeted calories. As you can see, I already have it programmed to 50 calories. That's my favorite. But for some people, they wanna go ham, they wanna go crazy. You can jack this all the way up um, and just see how long it takes you to get there. I will say as far as how the calories are counted, it has to do with watts and time. So if you're looking to burn, or I should say you're looking to cut through the most calories on this machine, you wanna get these watts up as fast as possible. If I can remember during editing, I'll actually put a whole list of how many watts per 
calorie uh, fat ratio is in there because there's actually like a whole ratio allowing you to simply burn more calories on this machine the faster the more you pump but of course you've got to pay your dues because the harder you pump the, the, the more difficult it will be and the last button here is your target heart rate you can set your heart rate that you want I have not done this it's just something I don't use a heart rate monitor I just I just go hard but for those of you that like to kind of dial in your heart rate that is something that is available i will say that there's tons of different customizable programs on here as far as what is going to fit you fit your needs your workout duration and your your intensity level so definitely play around with it you're gonna find the right thing that fits you and it is going to hurt and suck and you're going to be glad that you got the echo bike and you burned all those calories man this thing is a gem a year later and i have no regrets with regards to paying the high fee for this rogue echo bike i haven't gotten bored of it and it is still kicking my butt on a day-to-day -day basis if you're looking to pick up something similar but don't want to pay that hefty price tag do consider the titan fitness version i'll drop a link in the description so you can check it out overall man i am so happy for this piece of cardio equipment and i have to say when it comes to cardio this one takes the cake for me i do tend to use this piece of equipment often and much to my chagrin it beats me up every time now if you came this far in the video and have any questions please drop them below you know i'm going to get them answered as quickly as i can don't forget while you're down there give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button as usual thank you so much for watching and don't save anything for that trip back this channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.